guys welcome back to my channel my name is caroline and on this episode we're gonna have an amazing show called vibes and meals and i have an amazing guest with me here she's called patience drum rolls <laughs> if you want to know about fashion if you want to know everything that is involved with beauty and all that this is a person guys so i've got you covered guys make sure you subscribe give me that like and share 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 let's get started guys yes 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 so guys an amazing amazing show lined up for you and i have with me as i told you guys patience she'll tell us something about herself and uh, yeah i'm so excited about today's show guys so yeah tell us something patience okay first yeah. of all thank you for having me oh um, my, name, my name is patience uh penina patience and i am a fashion stylist and fashion trainer and i'm so excited to be here today i've been enjoying your meals recipes <laughs> and finally i get to be enjoying first hand so first hand i'm really excited <laughs> yeah. i'm excited to be here and of course you learn more about what i do let's go on awesome 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 guys maybe we can have one ice break huh? before we get to the kitchen okay. you can tell us something about you about me okay <laughs> yeah that um, you would want uh, the audience to know about it. okay so one thing about me i'm a creative so i like i like trying out new things and i'm also um i love cooking wow cooking. really yeah, that's something really i really wanted to learn recently i started baking so it's and I'm looking forward to you know, learning more recipes from you and also learning different ways of making maybe a simple meal. I'm excited for that. Okay, if I may ask you something, if you if you were to come back as an animal, okay, what animal best describes you? <laughs> okay. And why? Um, I would say a cheetah. Wow. Yeah, I would say a cheetah because. But not because of cheating. No. <laughs> Serious? Of oh, course not. <laughs> I um, cause it's fast. Okay, it's fast. I've always been fascinated by how fast they are, okay. and then it's graceful, and then it's also beautiful. So, wow. Yeah, and it goes for what it wants. Ish, and that yeah. is patient. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> I told you guys this is the best people. My audience, I'm definitely sure they will love you. So let's get to the cooking. I can't wait to see what she is making or what i am teaching her to okay. make <laughs> i like that look <laughs> so yeah let's get to it guys so guys on this amazing episode we're gonna make avocado sandwich hmm. yeah i've never tried that it is so sweet so so delicious okay eh. i can't wait <laughs> It's actually my favorite sandwich. Ah, I know you love avocado. Yeah, okay. avocado is big, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, since you are a guest, you oh. get to have some. Thank you. A, a drink. Thank you. Yeah. For our ingredients, mm -hmm. you just no need a lot of ingredients. Okay. Of course, you have to have an awesome, awesome avocado. Mm -hmm. Have a look. Check it. Very it's right. good. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. And then you have to have one tablespoon of butter. Mm -hmm. And depending if you want tomatoes on your sandwich, I always prefer mine with tomatoes. Okay. So tomatoes, your slices of bread, uh, some cheese. I always mm -hmm. prefer cheddar cheese okay. and the eggs, depending on how many sandwiches you're making. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's so so awesome. So, so guys, um, first of all, we we'll start by heating our pan okay. on medium heat. So we'll do that. As you butter, you can tell us something about you, okay. more about you, about the styling, how and people can I get do. in touch, and what you do, which are these awesome companies okay. you work with. Yeah. Alright, 
person. So, uh, let me give you a story, okay. a story which involves you actually. <laughs> sure. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I did fashion design and marketing in mm-hmm. Kenya Child University. Okay. And I remember when we were in campus, if you remember, yeah. <laughs> there's a time um, I came to, your, to where you used to stay and we did a mini, like a mini shoot. I don't know whether you remember. Mm-hmm. And you dressed me up with your clothes yeah. and all that. I mean, I've been doing fashion, yes, I know how to dress well, but I think at that time is when it hit me that really? actually your clothes really speak a lot about mm. how you look. Okay. So from that time, after we took photos and I remember we posted on Facebook, mm. I was like, wow, I can actually determine how I look by just changing something about my wardrobe. Hey. So since then is when now I started like working in that consciousness that um, you can actually dress well and it doesn't have to cost too much. Really? Have yeah. you heard that guys? You can dress really well. This is the lady. <laughs> if you want to look nice, look for her. Yes. Uh-huh. So, um, of course now going, going forward after I finished school, mm-hmm. I got an opportunity to work for a very amazing brand. It's called Black by Designs. And while there, I learned how to, of course, the business side of fashion okay you know and about making clothes designing since i did design i, I was studying i was doing more of design mm. and the process of designing a product from conception till till you actually see it oh. so and then um later um uh, later later on mm. i stepped out and decided to do my own my own thing oh how long were you with them okay so I think our for... pan is hot so you can put a few okay so, so i you just put okay. a few like that okay yeah so um i worked there for one and a half years mm. and i was like okay fine then i can I try something different oh. and <laughs> yeah so after that is when I decided on my own to start doing like shoots, um, products from different designers. Okay. And of course, I was still working with them. We had a very good relationship with them. Which kind of products? Um, that is clothes, mm. made in Kenya clothes, and also oh. bags. Yeah. So nice clothes and bags. Yes. Shoes and shoes, all yeah. the accessories. Okay. So I was like, um, also when when I was. Um, when I was working there is when I realized in Kenya we have so many amazing products that people don't know about and they sure. end up buying made in China products mm-hmm. that are easily accessible. Yeah, yeah. We have so much. That and and what I love about Kenyan from. design, you can actually know it's a Kenyan design, yeah. the, way, the fabric, exactly. the different designs. Exactly. It's just so, so unique. That's yeah. what I love about and, and, Kenyan made. Yeah, and yeah. actually, it's important for us to support our own. I feel like True. we don't really put <laughs> support, yeah, each we don't other. Really support uh, things made here locally. Okay. So while I was working there is when I, I noticed there was a niche in that people didn't know, some people didn't know the products. Others knew about them, but they didn't really put much, much. into it. Oh. Yes. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so then that's when I started to um, think of how can I help these designers mm. in making sure that you know their products are being seen by people yeah. and actually people are wanting to buy from them. Okay. So of course now I started doing this the styling, um, creating content with um, with their products okay. and um, also creating it in a way that someone would look at it and want to wear it. Like um, I'm sure you'd want to wear this set wrap because yeah, it's just the way I really want it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's Watch out guys, I should be wearing one of these. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a matter of how you wear the, the outfit and um, so um, when I saw that niche, I was like, okay, what more can I do other than just styling? And that's when I started thinking of how to work with these brands in marketing their products and also creating content for them so that mm. they can be visible mm. for people to for buy. People to buy. Yeah. Well, I'm just so inspired. Yeah, that is amazing. Mm. And where then do you draw your inspiration from? Because some, somewhere like... Oh, yeah. from people? Okay, yeah. my inspiration. Yeah. Okay. If it's inspiration, I get a lot of inspiration from... Um, how 
um, I get a lot of inspiration from different designers. Okay. I get to see how people conceptualize the products, how they make them, mm. and uh, the process the, the be behind the scenes is what intrigues me. Oh, yeah, not the, not the end product. <laughs> like, no, okay, so you made this outfit. How did you how did you go yeah, about it? Go about yeah. it until mm. you know you are where you are at. <laughs> yeah. So of course, art, mm. um, art interior. Mm. So. Um, a lot of interior. Um, there's this lady called Karen Bon. She's wow. an interior designer. Okay. Um, she's she's really interested me by how she creates. She makes our place look beautiful. And you know, for a creative, mm -hmm. you can draw a lot of inspiration from a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't have like one. One person. Oh. Yeah. Let's take a plate. Okay. Uh, so anxiety. I didn't know fashion was that broad. It is. It is. There is the makeup aspect of fashion. fashion. Mm -hmm. So guys, next, you can see it's ready. Okay. So we have to get ready. I want you to chop the tomatoes. Sorry, sorry. Round like this. Okay. Tiny pieces. As you tell us more, <laughs> today is your grilling day. <laughs> you can see that. Okay. okay so, so, yeah, I was talking about the fashion industry. Okay. The fashion industry is very broad. broad. Mm. People just know the making, the mm. making of their garments. But there's a lot that goes into into fashion. Before you see a, an end product, mm. let's say a dress, there's someone who sketched the design. Mm. They came up with a concept. There's a fabric selection. Mm. There's um, you know drafting of the um, wow. yeah. There's a lot that goes into it, okay. and of course once you you see the product, the end product, there's also how you can present it in such a way that people want to buy. Okay. And yeah, that's what I'm really interested in. Wow. Yeah. So it's been a great time. <laughs> it's a great time. So um, if you were to say one word that best describe patience which one would that be one word yeah. um, <laughs> one just one okay. yeah. um i would say patience is um, okay. a designer can i say a couple of words yeah, yeah. two words yeah Patience is an interested creative. Interested creative. Yes. By that I mean, mm. I am I'm, I'm usually interested in so many things. I'm a creative, yes. Mm. And it's something I came to know later on in life. Okay. Actually, I, I realized that our system, mm. our education system, mm. doesn't really promote people expressing their creativity. Okay. And for me, it, it took me how many years? 18 years to know I'm a creative until I started doing when I started doing the fashion design is when I noticed wow I'm actually good at this yeah. <laughs> so I'd say I'm interested in that I'm, I'm willing to learn mm. I'm willing to grow mm. I'm willing to of course uh, you know try out new things here and there that's why I, I draw a lot of inspiration from so many things. I love cooking. Cooking is a creative process. Yeah, no. it's actually from from yeah. here to there. Exactly. Yeah, it's a process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, like I really love asking people this question because okay. I okay I remember my, it myself that mm -hmm. like what is this one thing that you remember about your childhood that mm -hmm. really was so exciting that you loved. Oh, I loved, I loved, I remember growing up, I, I'm, I'm the last one in our family of five, oh. three, two elder brothers, so really? I never, I never had a sister to look up to, okay. and of course my mom was working for the most part, yeah. so I had to be creative in wanting to know things and learn things, and um, I remember there's a time, I, because my mom used to with you know those vitamba zanini yeah zabiti yes oh. <laughs> so she used to weave a lot of that mm. so i remember at some point i wanted to learn how to do it so mm. i went and took some akifagio i took some thread and i started how, teaching how myself i think i was i was in like eight years really yeah <laughs> i was eight or nine mm. and then i i just 
started imitating because I, I saw it really intriguing that she could actually come up with something like this. Mm. Yeah, so I was like, okay, I want to learn. And I think that's when I realized my creativity was actually there. Mm. It's just that because of the system, the education system, it kind of suppressed. Mm. But it was always there because my, my brother is also creative. So mm. yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was really fun. And of, of course, the whole aspect of, you know, playing, Kalongo, <laughs> and all that, it was really fun. You remember that? Okay, yeah. for my, for me, I remember riding the bicycle and okay. hitting a tree, and then my nose was just flat. <laughs> wow! Oh, <laughs> but I used to love going out. That's why maybe I, I do that mm -hmm. a lot, like adventure, yeah. like trying new exactly. things. Yeah. It's that small like, exactly. thing from from the experience. Yeah. Yeah, and. I'm never afraid to take risks. Risk. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So so you beat your egg if you like yours beaten. <laughs> yeah. So what what can you say that um, if your mom was to describe what you do, what how would she describe it? <laughs> how would she describe it? Yeah. What like, you do in terms of professionally? Or yes. Professionally. She's a fashion marketer. That's what she's saying. You're a fashion marketer? Yes. No? Oh. Yes. Because I, I, I don't um, make products, mm. but I normally promote um, I promote designers. Mm. I, I like promoting local designers. Okay. Yeah. So that we can have more people wanting to buy them from them. Okay. Yeah. Do you know of anyone? <laughs> yeah, I know so many, okay. so many designers. Mm. There's um, Blackfly, of course. Blackfly mm. designs. Mm. Um, she makes um, she makes designs from batik. Mm. I don't know that you know batik the fabric. Okay. She makes her own batik. Okay. As well as the African. Mm. And then also mm. there's um, Tuzo Iska who makes this scarf. Okay. Head wraps mm. and also makes amazing gowns. Mm. Um, I'm sure you see some photos <laughs> on the screen. Yeah, so what you do mm -hmm. um, with your egg. So once yes. it's done, is it done? Do you like it? Sorry. Yeah, I think it's done. And what you do is you put a bit of the cheese on top of the egg. Okay. So that you can melt a bit. Do you like a lot of cheese? Mm -hmm. Just a little. Just a little. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So you wait for it to melt a bit. And then you lay your tomatoes, your avocado, and you are done. The sandwich is done. Okay. So you can see it has melted. So you just put it on top like this. Mm -hmm. And then you put your avocado. Start with either tomato or avocado. So you lay lay them like this. It's the best sandwich ever. You will love. <laughs> okay. You will love it. Then you put in your avocado. How many do you want? I think that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. Then you put another one on top. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I like a lot of cheese me. Mm, yum. <laughs> so, um, question. We are not done with you. Okay. So, what is this one question that you want me to ask you that I have an answer to? Huh. Why do I see myself in five years? <laughs> okay, tell us. <laughs> okay, um, I see myself in where do I see myself? Mm, five years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see myself well traveled. Okay. I'd, I'd want to visit to see the fashion industry in other countries. Okay. And 
was also the culture in different places. Mm. Um, I see myself having not only helped these businesses to, you know, to be well all known in Kenya, but also well known internationally. Wow. Yes, that's the goal to sell hey. made in Kenya outside. Ah. Outside the country. Have you had that guy? <laughs> Amazing. Outside my... the country. Yeah, because I believe there's a lot we have. I mean, yeah. us, we have a lot. On, as Kenyans, we have a lot. So we are the common. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at these guys. Look at mine. So I layer my. So next, I'm layered with tomato. I love a lot of tomato. Mm -hmm. And then what I do is I add a bit of salt on the tomato, like this, and some black pepper, just a bit. And then now I layer the avocado. Look at this, guys. I love it with a lot of avocado. So, what I do, oh, I layer. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this, amazing. Can you ready to taste? Yeah, I can. so are you ready to taste yours? Do you, you like it when you yes. cut into two? Yes, okay. Let me cut for you. So, we are ready to taste. Let's see. So, yeah. You can go ahead and taste. Look at this, guys. The best avocado sandwich you'll ever have. Okay. Let me be the judge of that. <laughs> okay, you're okay. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Maybe we can do it together. How is it? Five star. Yeah. Take another bite. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for another bite. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We do the Frigida dance. <laughs> so I have one more question for you. Yes. What is your online platform? platform? Yeah. Okay, so my brand is called Mycela, M Y S E L A H. And my website, you can check my website, www.mycela.co.ke. And also find me on Instagram for a lot of fashion content at Mycela KE. That's the page. And also my other business, which is Mycela Store, at Mycela Store. So oh. that's where you find I promote more of the products for okay. the designers and my seller store. And then my seller styling is my seller styling page is where I do more lookbooks, styling content, inspirational content, wow. yeah, and whatnot. That is a lot. So there's more, more, more to the yeah. patients. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us uh, what is what is your mission? What do you think is your mission in life? My mission is to make an impact, be the best version of myself, okay. and while at it, making a lasting impact in the people's lives that I meet. Wow. Whether it's, of course, with the Word of God, with whatever it is I'm doing as a business person, okay. in fashion industry, that you actually you can be the best version of yourself. Because God made us to be the best. Exactly. And no one is like you. <laughs> exactly. Yes. You're one unique person. Exactly. And you should know you. What? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So there's no, uh, you're not limited to anything. There's no limit yes. to you. You're limitless. Yes. So, yeah, because I know people who, like so many people who would want to be like you, mm -hmm. be in the designer world, in the okay. fashion market. Yeah. Maybe you can advise them, tell them, do they need a lot of resources? Mm -hmm. What is this thing that pushed you to, to your goal to be who you are? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'd tell someone who's who's wanted to be in the fashion field is you don't it's have exciting. To, yes, it's exciting. It's fun. <laughs> it's interesting. It's a lot of work. Yeah. But the important thing is you just have to start. And you know when you put yourself in that environment where you're willing to learn, there's how much there's so much more you can have. You know when you just have a willing heart, a willing heart to learn, to invest in yourself, to be the best at what you do. You might start off not so good, but with time, with of course the experience you do, the extra input you put in, you'll definitely be the best. It's just and it's time. not a matter of resources. It's yeah, a matter it's not of, a, it's not, of it's not being because actually people are willing to help. You exactly. know, amazing. When you just 
say um, I want to do this you find this person has a machine they want to give you mm -hmm. you, you find people who will take you to where the fabrics are mm -hmm. so it's it's just wanting to just start start wow, don't see anything just start have you heard guys so the world is a big place and all of us have a place and a purpose mm -hmm. in life it's for you to find out what you can do mm -hmm. and go ahead and do okay. it see here we have the most best designer uh, fashion designer in the whole world right Thank here <laughs> so guys uh, it was an amazing time uh, hanging out with you making this awesome avocado sandwich look at this mm -hmm. how was your experience oh, in, uh, in the show it's very it's nice actually the recipe is very simple I'm gonna definitely go and try it <laughs> yeah. yeah and of course add a little bit of so something something to make it yeah nice. but look yeah. at this guys but it's, look at this. it's so so beautiful yeah yeah, thank and you. Thank and you it, we time. just didn't take long. In ten minutes, you yeah. have it. But then, what, what is your favorite food? I love fish. Fish, fish, fish yeah. Oh. Fish, rice, yeah. and of course chicken once in a while. Chicken and your and least favorite? Right? Uh, um, I don't like much. Okay, without meat. <laughs> <laughs> without, <laughs> without meat. It's a, you know? That's for our talk, guys. <laughs> but anyway, we we get a <laughs> get us. What do we say? We have to end the show. <laughs> yeah, but it was an amazing yeah, time. Really nice. Yeah, Thank hanging you. out. Thank you, Rosanna. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. You're an amazing lady. Thank you. Yes, and I'm so honored to have hosted you Thank here you. in our amazing show. Yeah. So, guys, remember that's it from us. What do you do? Subscribe. subscribe what do you do like what do you do comment comment, comment and share, and share. Yes. so that's it from us bye